Hi guys, how are you? Mind this one titanium. Welcome back. Uh, I'm going to do a video on our new service. It's bare knuckle charting and then we offer that service on patreon.com slash BKC patreon.com slash BKC. So in this video, we're going to go back this, the difference between real macroeconomics and uh, bare knuckle charting BKC is that BKC we can trade anything. My real macroeconomics is more about teaching and it's more about uh, macroeconomics and, and, and uh, indexes, okay? At uh, patreon.com slash BKC, what we do, we, we'll just give you the setups and the best risk rewards, and then it's up to you as a trader to go out, and if you like it, you take it. If you don't like it, don't take it. There'll be other ones. Now, when we don't post, that's because there's nothing there to trade, and that should be a signal in of itself. That you should stay away from the markets because when the markets are sideways and they're going up and down and they're chopping and you're trying to trade because you feel like you know you have some free time or you have the urge oh, i gotta make money you know um then you're gonna end up getting hurt and we don't want that okay so pay attention to when we are trading um and when we're not trading now i'm going to take you back to uh, a call i made on bitcoin and or bitcoin to you guys that's not a coin. <laughs> anyway, uh, go back to uh, Bitcoin. And this is from September uh, 4th and then September 8th. And it's a video that I made. You can go back and, and watch it. So basically what I said in that video was that um, this was going to start to break down. That we're going to take out stops. And then it's going to reverse and start going back up. Right? And that was in September. Now we're in April 23rd. So let's go take a look at that video real quick. So here's the video. You can go back and see it for yourself. It's September 8th, 2018. All right. So let's uh, let's take a look. See what I had to say. The move back on on uh, the 4th of September was published publicly. Everybody could see it that this was going to happen. That's exactly what happened. I'm just going to say it one more time. Um, and sure enough, that's exactly what happened. Okay. You had to be in the trade prior to it happening so now what's going on well the likelihood is this time around okay doesn't necessarily have to happen but this time around we're going to break 6,000 and we're going to we're going to start taking out stops all down here okay we're going to come down take out stops and then we're going to start going back up all right there you go it's that simple really okay so this is where the video was made back in September we're going to take out stops and then we're going to go back up and there's several videos that I made after that when I said buy below 5,500. Okay, just buy. And if you were to build a nice position below 5,500 today, when it's trading at 55.72, you should be up on that on that trade, and you should be up big because it went as, as low as 3,200. Right. Now I certainly do get that it's not an instantly gratifying kind of uh, you know subscription service. Okay, sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. But generally speaking, you want to grab those big waves because that's how you make money consistently over the course of time. If you're, you know, I'm going to trade half percent a day, I'm going to quit my day job, I'm going to, you know, buy a Ferrari, I'm going to be there. Forget about that stuff. That stuff, you're wasting your time. I'm telling you right now, you're wasting your time. You're better off just donating that money to me and, you know, I'll, I'll go out and party with it because you're never going to make money thinking like that doesn't work that way all right now here's another call that I made in China and I'll be honest with you I didn't make the money I should have made okay but I did say that you should be buying uh, China at 23% uh, down right that's somewhere in here and ultimately this is going to result to the upside because the China emerging markets are cheap relative to developed markets that's just fundamental now what happened Nice little drop, right back up, going up against resistance, coming towards the double top in here, okay? <clears throat> Somewhere in here, you want to start looking for that correction. It's going to happen. When is it going to happen? I don't know. Can it continue to go much, much higher? Sure, but we'll know that, won't we? So, again, um, this is the kind of trade setups that we're going to give you, all right? Now, we have a new term, and... Uh, in our little circle here and it's called IBS what is IBS it's irritable irritable 
bear shitting syndrome. There are so many people out there just bear shitting every single day for the past decade. One fucking decade. And all they keep saying, market's going to go down, market's going to go down, economy's going to tank, market's going to go down, right? So, <laughs> you got the, the DGs, which are degenerate gamblers, and now we have the IBSs. Well, we always had the IBSs, but now we're, we're really going <laughs> to, you know, have a nice little uh, name for them. Here is zero credibility, right? The cataclysmic $243 trillion of global debt bomb will explode, impoverishing everyone. Okay. <laughs> what is the opposite of debt? Savings, correct? So we are going to have a cataclysmic $243 trillion global savings bomb and will explode, impoverishing everyone. Does that make sense to you? Obviously not, right? But this is clickbait. Just sitting there fucking bearish for a decade and people keep clicking and they're so excited and every time they, they, they see some bearish, uh, you know, article, they're clicking like and blah, blah, blah. And that's part of my job to teach you guys how to really understand <laughs> well, these stupid fucking uh, bear shitters, okay? The IBSs. The something bad is going to happen eventually and I'll be right. Yeah, well, you can't make money like that. If you listen to Zero Hedge and all these other... Charging apps, battery. You, you guys are... You, you've blown out your accounts multiple times. Here's another stupid little clickbait. Italy's perma recession could trigger a 2 trillion financial crisis that is threatening the euro it's, eurozone itself. The fuck? <laughs> what is a perma recession? I have no idea what that is, uh, but hey, you know, fuck, I don't know, it sounds bad, and it's probably going to happen, it's two trillion, that's a lot of money, you want to know what reality is, I'll tell you what reality is, we're in all-time highs in the NASDAQ, that's reality, that is the math, facts, and data, you cannot argue with price, <laughs> idiots are not buying the market, you can say they're idiots if you're a IBSer, Oh, it's fake data. Oh, they're idiots. Oh, we're smarter than they are. No, you're not smarter than they are. You're not smarter than we are. Okay, because we are buying and we're making money. Now, is this going to correct? Sure, of course. It always does correct. At some point, this will start to correct. Right? And that's we'll give you the signal when that happens. But until it starts to correct, it is bullish. Bullish, bullish, bullish. Now, this this structure right in here should have resulted to the downside but the fact that it didn't should tell you what that it's bullish <laughs> it's that simple this is a tight 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 should have broke nope went straight up and we don't know when it's going to stop but it's good until it isn't and then when it's not then it's not it's that simple you don't need to guess no one ever made money guessing and if you are the type of person that you're going to read some stupid fucking headline and you're going to say, oh, yeah, it's bearish as a, as a debt, debt bomb, $243 trillion. Oh, we're all screwed. Yeah, let me go out and short the market. Well, you know, you're getting your face ripped off right now. Because fundamentally, the economy is fine. So, again, we're going to give you setups uh, in bare knuckle charting. And, you know, you got to remove all that stuff and just look at the structure, look at the setup, and take it. So here's a nice little setup, okay? Very simple. You have a nice little um, uh, bear flag right in here, okay? It's up against resistance, starting to break down, and this is the Australian US dollar, okay? And the next move is going to be probably to test the previous low. Now, there's more to this trade. And here's the beauty, that this is probably going to test this previous low uh, initially at 68. And then when it does really start to break, break down, it's going to come all the way down to 60. And then if this breaks, it's going to come all the way down to about 47. Now look at, look at your risk right now. Your risk is almost nothing. It's minuscule. Okay, Breaks the previous high, pops up, stop. If you are right, on the other hand, you're going to make a shitload of and I mean a shitload of money. So that's it, guys. Um, you know, come down on patreon.com slash BKC. Join us. And we would love to uh, give you the setups. Take care. Bye-bye.